Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to give a quick update on my Ryzen build. I have the Ryzen 1700, not the X version, <clears throat> and this is my overclocking results that I'm getting with the stock cooler, the Wraith Spire. Um, as you can see, I have 3850 MHz with a voltage of 1.38125. And that's as high as I've been able to go. Um, people are saying that you should be able to get higher with even um, 1.35. But I haven't been able to do that. And maybe you need something different than the stock cooler. I'm very excited to see what happens when I get my water cooler um, in place. Once NZXT ships the mounting bracket for that. Maybe I can get higher speeds and lower voltages. Um... This is the temperatures at idle, um, as you can see it's not very low, it is quite high, but on the Ryzen systems that's okay because they are quite tolerant to heat. So let's fire up some stress testing and see how the temperatures develop. Right, so I've fired up um, IDA64's stress test and as you can see the temperatures are rising um, and in my previous testing that I've done the temperatures topped out around 83 84 degrees something like that and this is on the stock cooler so I would expect to get much lower temps uh, than this but if you're just getting the 1700 the non X version and you want to see how far can you go um, on the stock cooler this can be a good guideline for you and again this is the voltage that I'm using people are saying that you should be able to use um, the lower one and this is the memory frequency, it says 1200 megahertz, but it's actually 2400, because remember DDR is double data rate, so. Yeah, and here are the temperatures again, 82 degrees. And I just kind of want to wait for that to uh, top out and then go back down again, so we see how far um, we can go when, before it stabilizes. And, um, yeah, I think that we're going to see it being stabilized pretty soon. Yeah, you can see it's already starting to go down some there, so I would say that this is stabilized. And before we go, I also wanted to show you my Cinebench scores with this overclock. Here you can see my different um, attempts of... Over, okay, there we go. Um, different attempts of overclocking... Um, 3.85 gigahertz is what I'm getting and then you have 1683 just about the when you run it at 3 gigahertz the stock speed you get 1508 so you may think that 1683 is not a big boost over that but keep in mind that when you have it at stock it only goes up to 3.7 gigahertz on two cores and with this overclock you have 3.85 gigahertz on all four cores so that's why you see the the increase yeah i think that's about all i wanted to cover now i will make another video when i have my water cooler in place and uh yeah then i will run more benchmarks and do more testing and see if i can get any higher overclocks Thanks for watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe and all that, bye.